when I was uh, young, I was uh, driving with reindeers every day. Uh, but there, there was no, no snowmobiles. Early, uh, was, they was using skis in reindeer herding, and they was uh, using reindeer uh, to drive it after the reindeers. And uh, but uh, now uh, nobody uh, I use reindeer to drive after the reindeers. Nobody use skis. All the uh, uh, reindeer herders are going to a new technology. It's snowmobiles. About 1962 comes the first snowmobiles from USA to Cape uh, Town, uh, and the first one is uh, our old postman who buy it because he was driving the post all of the uh, landscape here uh, to the reindeer herders and other ones. Uh, a small, small village in outside of Cape Town, and uh, he buy a snowmobile in 1962, I think. And uh, after that, uh, it uh, was like a Klondike for the snow snowmobile introduced in, in uh, reindeer uh, herding. Well, I'm grown up, grown up as nomad, moving from, from the inland to the coast. It was uh, quite a uh, uh, big and quick change from, from reindeer to snowmobile. The people changed with the snowmobile. The herding was made more efficient and, and uh, so uh, that was one of, one of the reasons. But at the same time you, know, you had to have gas, so you, you often had to go to to the village to buy gas, and and the snowmobile was the first snowmobiles were often uh, you know bro broke someone broke, so you, you had to go to to the village to uh, get it fixed. So so in a way, y y you needed also more contact with the with the village. We are selling 90-95% of our snowmobiles to reindeer herds. Only 5% are going to the private market. Most of the people was looking at that on snowmobiles, that this uh, modern uh, instrument are not good for reindeers because uh, it's making a new economic, uh, it's expensive, you must always have money to buy uh, uh, gasoline or oil. Yeah, it's already quite expensive, and um, uh, the, the costs of snowmobiles take uh, quite much of the income already. Yeah, that was Svein Mathisen here. Good day. Can you be with us Arctic Port to Tromsø? We are going to have problems here with, uh, and challenges with oil and gas. But the oil and gas history, in the history of, uh, of human being, it was so short, you know, very, very short. While the Sami people has been here for hundreds, thousands of years. If you ask Yamal reindeer herders in northern Siberia, they said, we can't afford it, you know. I mean, then we need to have so much reindeer to be able to, to support our economy. The new, new generation is, uh, takes the snowmobiles when they are 10, 12 years and learn the 
using the snowmobile, all all the people in reindeer herds are using. So. <laughs> We see the effect of climate change here much faster than everywhere else in the world. That's the kind of dilemma. Uh, globally, we have to mitigate by releasing less. Reindeer herders also have to release less CO2 by using maybe other kinds of snow machines. Uh, but the main pollution is coming from the u huge or human density areas of the globe with huge industrial development. In the Arctic is very few people, only 100,000 is very few. So, I mean, does it really matter? Yes, reindeer herders could adapt to a life without any cars or, or snow machines. Um, but then we have to agree that we all have to uh, moderate ourselves. <laughs> Fifty years ago, uh, there are no reindeer herders more. Be because the modern industry are taking our lands. Maybe we have only twenty years ago. It's a sorry story, but uh, I, I think it's a reality. Because uh, there are too much uh, modern industry who want to take our marks, uh, our, our land. Uh, and using in uh, gold or uh, other metallics in the ground and, and the roads and the, the Norwegian wants to go in the landscape all, all over and uh, there are no place for the India about 20, 50 years. Maybe our rights are not in the place that we can use our land in 50 years ago. When I Every day it's coming uh, if they are taking a land from us. Every day. It's smaller and smaller land we can use in the Indian